Revolution of the Earth The Earth moves around the Sun in a fixed elliptical path. The path is called its orbit. The Earth moves in its orbit at a speed of 30 km per second. All planets also move around the Sun in fixed orbits. Each planet has a different orbit so that they don't bump into each other. The movement of the Earth around the Sun is called revolution. What is the difference between the Earth's rotation and revolution? The spinning of the Earth on its axis is called rotation, while the movement of the Earth around the Sun is called revolution. The Earth takes 365 days, 6 hours and 8 minutes, approximately 365 and 1 fourth days, to complete one revolution around the Sun. That is why a year has 365 days. Though the Earth takes 365 and 1 fourth days to complete one revolution around the Sun, we take 365 days as one year. The remaining one fourth days are added to the year after every four years. The year with 366 days is called a leap year. To which month in a leap year do we add the extra day? In a leap year, we add the extra day to February. The Earth's axis is always inclined in the same direction at an angle of 23 and a half degrees to the vertical. This inclination of the Earth's axis together with the Earth's revolution around the Sun causes seasons. Do you remember what is the Earth's axis? The imaginary line around which the Earth rotates is known as its axis. The equator divides the Earth into two halves known as hemispheres. In position A, the northern hemisphere is more tilted towards the Sun than the southern hemisphere. Thus, in this position, the northern hemisphere is hotter and experiences summer. Meanwhile, the southern hemisphere experiences winter. In position B, the sun's rays fall directly on the southern hemisphere while they fall on the northern hemisphere in a slanting manner. What season will the southern hemisphere have in position B? When the Earth is in position B, the southern hemisphere will be hotter and it will be summer there. Meanwhile, the northern hemisphere will experience winter. Equi means equal and nox means night. Equinox is the time when all places on the Earth have equal duration of day and night. Each year, on 21st March, the spring equinox, the sun shines directly on the equator. Again, on 23rd September, the autumn equinox, the sun shines directly on the equator. Sol means the sun. Solistis means the standing still of the sun. Solistis is either of the two times of the year at which the sun reaches its highest or lowest point in the sky at midday. In the Northern Hemisphere, June 21st is the longest day and December 21st is the shortest day.